Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week as we always do. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Virgo for the week. Thank you. So I had the Four of Cups. Message for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Okay, so we have Traveling Lightly, Simplify Your Life. And we have wise leader, you are a beacon for others. That could also be something to do with leadership, taking the lead and so on, in terms of simplifying your life. It feels very full. I mean, the full energy carries a little backpack but it's only essentials that's needed on the journey it feels in this situation this is about lightening the load okay let's pull one more card for virgo please angels what is the message for our lovely virgos thank you <clears throat> message for virgo we have in the near future, Virgo. I mean, that's a really nice energy. I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message to go with in this near future? I've got no. I'm going to pull one more. Ask your angels. But at the bottom of the deck, I've got in the next few weeks as well. I feel you'll be saying no to something that you need to consider. Interesting, or someone. Okay, let's put them down. They're there for a reason. So, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Message for Virgo. So I'm going to pull three cards, Virgo. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. The third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Virgo. So just take what resonates with you. We have the Knight of Swords. Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. So can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Virgo. 1st to the 7th of February 2021. Thank you, that flew out. <laughs> We have the Five of Swords there, Virgo. Two of Cups is clarified with the Page of Swords. And we have the Sun with the Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. So Virgo, important card I think in this reading, it's interesting, the Four of Cups, there are four cups available here, but only one is given to you by God the Divine, the Universe, this cup here. So it's almost kind of like this is a message to say, trust your intuition because it's leading you in the right direction. If you're giving some deep thought to a situation this week, you will find the direction, the clarity that you need through trusting your intuition, what feels right for you. 
when it's reversed this card can mean missed opportunities not necessarily when it's upright it's more about contemplation deep consideration yeah so thinking about something now it's interesting because this card can also be a card of re-evaluation re-evaluating something and what I felt straight away was <clears throat> there may well be something that you need to give some serious thought to in the near future and the message is ask your angels again intuitive energy guiding you because I feel for some of you it might be something that you say no to or it might be a gut reaction you know it might well be just one of those things and it feels like you're being told to reevaluate it because this is the divine nudge you know this is the direction that you're being given by divine energy so for some of you it offers opportunities um an opening you know uh you know a way forward a path you know call it what you will if something opens up for you you're being told to consider it wisely because the knight of swords and the five of swords now the five of swords can be a card of conflict but i feel for some of you it can also be a card of inner conflict something that's conflicted you and there's definitely an energy of there's a need to simplify your life i've got a feeling in this energy this is about i mean you know this person looks back at the negative conflict the argument you know and it stops them from moving forward i mean there's almost a feeling of are you trying to second guess what could happen here you know is something make, conflicting you in some way i'm definitely getting this kind of energy here virgo because it feels for some of you maybe a conversation communication that you've had is causing you some inner conflict i mean this can also be external conflict but it feels to do with inner conflict or something that's causing some conflict between two people it feels in terms of it feels more in terms of love romance relationships because the knight of swords is an opportunity for change the knights bring change in and it feels like there's been some conversation that's caused you some conflict it's whether you're trying to second guess what could happen rather than just trusting your instincts and going with it you know it feels like you're you're trying to this conflict thing what i'm getting in this energy is almost imagining what could go wrong you know because this is i'm feeling this energy of of doubt of you know how much can i trust this could even be with this person because the page of swords again pages are messengers and pages represents the beginning of something new the beginnings of change it's a message of truth so the message here the advice from spirit if something is conflicting you here or causing tension in a relationship because the other person doesn't seem to be clear in terms of how you're deeply feeling how you're deeply conflicted about a situation or maybe there's some deep insecurity here this is an open expression of truth you know um bring clarity to the situation that is a page of swords speak your truth you know get things off your chest be honest with some you know be honest with the other person about how you're feeling you know it feels that kind of energy because the two of cups can be a card of new love or it can be an offer or an invitation it can be to take love to the next level as well um so it feels in this situation it can also be a reconciliation energy so if there has been something that's been causing you conflict speaking your truth in some way shape or form is getting something off your chest and i feel it's to do with some deep insecurity here or deep i don't want to say trust issues but you kind of get where i'm going with this virgo it feels that speaking your truth is the best way forward because that will restore faith restore faith in each other you know the sun is 
growth, happiness, celebration, joy. You know, it's a lovely, lovely energy. It's also a card of good news and a card of success. And it's interesting that I'm getting that card because you can see the two people there. It feels that this is, I'm definitely getting this energy in terms of love, romance, relationships. Because I've got a feeling that this offer, this opportunity, it might well be to move in with somebody or to start a family with somebody, to take a relationship to the next level. This could be marriage, you know, and I think you have some reservations and securities about it. The Ten of Pentacles is, about, is a card of family, the home, the home dynamic, generations of family, legacy, that kind of energy. So it definitely feels for some of you and remember, these two people come through the other side of a wall, you know, something that may have challenged them, divided them, caused an obstacle. There's definitely an energy of don't worry if you speak your truth, you'll come through the other side of this situation. But then there is a choice to make and it feels to do with some kind of offer, opportunity, invitation to take a relationship to the next level that you need to reevaluate. That is what the message is. Just give this some deep thought consideration. And that's what you're being asked to do by spirit. As long as you give something some deep thought consideration and trust your instinct in which way you want, want to go, you won't choose wrongly. And that's what you're being told here because the seven of cups is hopes, dreams and wishes. It's also about choices. The choices that you make now can have consequences, both good and bad. Um, so there's a message of trust your intuition. You're being offered something here. There is a path open to you, um, an opportunity, an offer, an invitation open to you. Trust your instincts and you won't choose wrong, you know, because this can also be a card of confusion, confusion on feelings or seeing the way forward. And the message is, if you trust your instinct, you will trust the truth. You will feel the truth of the situation. You will find the right direction for you. But it feels this travel lightly. Again, some conversation, it feels like it's bringing some insecurity or conflict out in you. And there's definitely an energy of take the lead in this. Declutter, simplify your life. Don't look for obstacles where there may not be any, you know, and that is the energy there. But it's understandable if there is a reason historically for you feeling this way. Um, but definitely an energy of, of speak your truth, bring clarity to the situation. You know, the exchange between two people, it strengthens your bond. It will only strengthen you. So beautiful, beautiful energy for that reason, Virgo. I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah, moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. I also feel in this situation, just keep things under. If, I think there is a need to take control of a situation to bring, you know, clarity to it. You know, that kind of energy. Yeah. Let's pull one more card for you. Any other reason, any other reason, message? Yeah, we have, believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the Northern Lights says, you are part of nature, so you are magic too. But you're being told to believe in the magic and it's whatever magic means to you. <clears throat> Powerful transformation. This can be transformational opportunity it is available to you. And I feel it's in the form of this person, this offer, this opportunity. I'm definitely getting this energy of taking a relationship to the next level. Um, but it feels like you need to speak your truth in a situation in order to get a deeper understanding, the deeper bond, you know, the deeper understanding of two people. Because in this way, it definitely feels like you overcome any obstacles or fears that you have and understand how to make a choice that's right for you. So it feels very beautiful, Virgo, for that reason. And again, this no, I'm definitely getting just be careful of saying no out of fear or uncertainty, you know? 
I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.